A very good morning. Welcome to ITN News with me, Iftia Abdul Kader. Your headlines first. The Gazette Extraordinary to Dissolve Parliament is to be published midnight today. The President says that he does not appreciate the promotion of personal images. The United National Party Working Committee agrees to contest the upcoming general election under the elephant symbol. The 22 university students arrested for protesting in front of the University Grants Commission remanded. And on news overseas, at least 18 dead and dozens injured in a bus and train accident in South Pakistan. In your local news this morning, government sources reveal that a Gazette Extraordinary pertaining to the dissolution of the Parliament is to be published midnight today. This is under the power vested in the President by the 19th Amendment to the Parliament after four and a half years sitting. The five-year term of the Eighth Parliament, which began on September 1st, 2015, is due to expire in August this year. The date of the general election should also be announced at the dissolution of Parliament. According to government sources, the general election will be held on the 25th of April. If the Parliament of Sri Lanka is dissolved as planned, 64 parliamentarians will lose their pensions. A member of Parliament must complete a five-year tenure to receive pensional rights. President Gautambia Rajapaksha has requested not to display photographs or portraits of him at public places. A statement by the President's media division said the portraits and photographs of the President are being exhibited by roadsides and at events without proper supervision. President Rajapaksha, while expressing his gratitude towards those who draw portraits of him, requests the public not to do so in the future. The president said that he does not appreciate the promotion of personal images. Meanwhile, the president paid homage to the sacred tooth relics at the Sri Dalada Maligava in Kandy yesterday. He was received at the Dalada Maligava by Diyavadana Nilame Pradeep Nilangadela. The president called on the Mahanaika of Asgiri chapter, the most venerable Varakagoda Sri Nyanaratana Thera. The Mahanaika of the Asgiri chapter chanted Seth Pirit and invoked blessings on the president. President Rajapaksha met the chief monk of Rangiri Dambulu Mahaviharaya, the Venerable Dr. Godagama Mangalatera at Asgiriya Sri Chandrananda Buddhist School. The Anunayaka of the Asgiri chapter, the Venerable Vindarue Upalitera, and a group of people including the governor of the central province, Lalit U. Gamage, were present on the occasion. Still on local news, the majority of the United National Party Working Committee has agreed to contest the upcoming general election under the elephant symbol. However, the Sajid Paramadasa faction has not agreed to the decision. A special meeting of the UNP Working Committee was held yesterday at the UNP headquarters, Sirikota, to arrive at a final decision on the party's election symbol. The meeting was chaired by party leader Ranil Vikramasinghe and opposition leader Sajid Premadasa. The 22 university students arrested for protesting in front of the University Grants Commission, the UGC, have been remanded until today. The order was issued by the Colombo Additional Magistrate when the group of students was produced before the court. 22 university students, including two monks, have been arrested for protesting in front of the University Grants Commission, violating a court order obtained by the police over acts of obstruction of the public. The Inter-University Students' Federation commenced a satyagraha in front of the UGC on Thursday, demanding the removal of the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Ruhuna. The Inter-University Students' Federation convener, Venerable Ratkarawe Jinaratanathera, has also been arrested along with the students. 
A CTB bus has caught fire near the 112-kilometer post on the Southern Expressway. The bus was plying yesterday from Kottava Makumbura Transportation Hub to Hambantota. The vehicle was completely burnt by the fire. However, the passengers were safely evacuated. It is believed that a technical fault has caused the fire. The number of passengers arriving in Sri Lanka from South Korea has risen sharply due to the spread of coronavirus in South Korea. 137 Sri Lankans have arrived in the country from South Korea last morning. All passengers arriving from South Korea are subjected to a special medical checkup for infections of the coronavirus. Meanwhile, two passengers who indicated high body temperatures have been admitted to the Nigambo Hospital. Ambassador of Sri Lanka to the Republic of Korea said no Sri Lankan in South Korea has been reported infected with the coronavirus. The embassy further said it is on alert for Sri Lankans throughout 24 hours of the day. Colombo Chief Magistrate's Court has ordered the Police Narcotics Bureau to interrogate the six suspects arrested with narcotics under the detention orders. The PNB, in a combined effort with the Sri Lanka Navy, arrested five individuals on Saturday, including a female, along with 74 kilograms and 666 grams of heroin and 65 kilograms and 714 grams of ice found in their possession. Police headquarters stated that the suspects were arrested on charges of importing, smuggling and possession of narcotics. The suspects were produced before the court yesterday, where they were ordered to be detained for interrogation for a period of seven days. Well, that's it from the news desk. Together with the rest of the news team, I'm Iftia Abdul Kader, wishing you a fantastic day. Bye-bye.